Congressman Corey Mills joins me now. I mean, you know, words fail you sometimes, Congressman, on a story like this. Uh, just another example. Both uh, suspects stopped at the border and then just let go, uh, you know, appear later type of uh, deal. This is exactly what can happen, isn't it? Well, this is unfortunately what can happen and what has been continuing to happen, whether it's this poor, unfortunate 12-year-old uh, girl who has met a really devastating fate at the hands of those who shouldn't have even been in the U.S., or even recently where an Ecuadorian illegal migrant had videoed himself raping a 13-year-old in New York, or looking at Lake and Riley's family, the amount of angel families that are mm. continuing to compile as a result of these failed border policies, as a result of this weak, soft-on-crime, catch-and-release, no-bell reform under the Biden administration, it's really encouraging criminal activity and terrorizing our communities. Look, we need to get back to the Title 42 Remain in Mexico President Trump agreements. We need to start enforcing our ICE agents to go out and start leading the largest deportation ever. And we need Joe Biden or anyone to start actually doing their jobs by stepping up and sending more justices to our borders to process asylum and refugee claims so that we can turn away those who are not actually here for that purpose. Strengthen our borders, build our wall, put a temporary immigration moratorium in place. But we must protect the children here in America and the families who are dying as a result of these criminal migrants and the fentanyl overdoses. You know, I, I, obviously the murders are one aspect of this, uh, Congressman, but there's a national security uh, issue, uh, a wider issue here. There have been people or, or those suspected of having ties to terrorist groups, again, just That's allowed right. into the country, who knows where they are now and what they're planning. Well, not only are they just crossing our southern border, but we must not forget that our northern border is also at risk, and that's where a majority of these individuals are also crossing. And so we've had over 178 different nations who are crossing into our country. We have military-aged males from Pakistan, from Yemen. We have people on terrorist watch lists who are actually getting through. And so we need to start thinking about not about just the apprehensions that they're reporting, but how many of the catch and releases and how many people are going without being caught or out being uh, being processed or, or put up for by the CBP. So, you know, this is a really terrifying moment. We have millions and millions of people, over 11 million that we know of that's crossed under Joe Biden. We have to start taking real action. And Joe Biden's refused because he wants the replacement theory. He wants amnesty. And he wants to grant citizenship to vote in the elections Ugh. to try and buy his way into a second presidency. Exactly. You know, I'm always interested. You must talk to your Democrat colleagues. How can they justify the way the system is working now? Because there is no system and it clearly is not working. Well, not all of my colleagues on the left or right actually say that they would justify it one way or another. There's many who think that there should be no borders at all, and that's obvious. But then you've got people like Joe uh. Biden and the rest of the administration who will lie about this bipartisan Senate agreement, which is nothing more than an amnesty bill that couldn't even pass the Senate. And then he'll act as if he's doing an executive order under 212 Section F to close the border, but he'll still allow CBP to do a catch and release process. Nothing has changed. This is all political pandering. And this is Joe Biden wanting to buy an election using taxpayers' money and at the expense of our children's lives so that he can try and go into a second presidency and destroy our nation. Something has to change for sure. Congressman Corey Mills, thank you, sir, so much for talking to us today.